Welcome back to another Rugby 20 commentary video. This time round, we're starting another series. So we've got the Tri Nations one going at the moment, which I will upload another video for that. This time round, because the Lion series just ended a couple of weeks ago, I decided to create my own team and do my own competition. This is the British and Irish Lions versus Montpellier, game one of the Lions Tour de France tournament. Uh, so coming up, we'll have a good look at the Lions team. Here they are. Feel free to pause the video and, you know, get to know the players on this team. My first selection, Liam Williams, the captain. That's the Montpellier team if you're going to go for them. You can support them, it's fine. I have no preference. And obviously the referee is Quentin Prevost. Uh, I'm really excited for this series. I'm, I was quite passionate about the Lions series this year so I'm hoping that you this will make get you guys interested into it and uh, hope that it was as entertaining as the actual Lions series so yeah let's get straight into it Billy Burns my fly half will kick us off ball goes down and Montpellier automatically setting off downfield into the 10 meter area and the Lions are competing at that ruck but unable to win it back they go wide Montpellier to Nadolo. He's the one who manages to grab it once again. I believe that is Nariashvili who grabbed it at there, who grabbed it at the scrum and then gave it to Andre Pollard and there was a penalty advantage, but it's over now. Witten goes wide to Josh Adams, who's cutting around the outside. Doing some work on the inside here. It's picked up by Witten, Ian Witten. He's stepping around, and the first try of the tournament will go to the British and Irish Lions through Ian Witten. Brilliant play. Josh Adams kick, tries to put a grab on the ground. Comes off Husson, and Ian Witten just go, grabs it and runs in for the first try. And uh, Billy Burns has the kick right out in front, so unlikely he will miss this. And... First kick of the tour, also successful. Seven points to nil for the Lions. Ball falls for Billy Burns, who looks to put a rather sizable punt on that. Hasn't gone very far, though. And then another kick travels down towards Liam Williams. He decides to run it rather than playing it. Gives it off to Lewis Rees. it, the Welsh winger. Lightning Lewis, as they call him, McGrath. He's breaking through a couple of tackles. On the edge of the halfway line now, and Richie gives it off to Bellum, and there was a penalty advantage, and a demolition of a tackle has seen them have a penalty 55 meters out. I believe they're going to check to see if they have any people on their team who can actually kick from this distance. No Elliot Daly, and no really good players. Henry Slade is on the bench, but... They're not going to want to waste his talent, so Billy Burns is going to step up again. And it's got the angle, but it hasn't got the distance. And the Lions are having to go into the defense, but they have managed to turn it over. McGrath goes to Vunapola inside to Henshaw, tries a little bit of stepping, but he's cut down. Witten goes wide to Josh Adams. Adams... Good run on the outside. The Lions veteran. One of several veterans on this team. Burns goes wide to the try scorer. Witten, who manages to pop it inside to Henshaw. One of the other veterans of this squad. McGrath goes to Witten again. So this is a good early play for the Lions. Marchand puts the bomb on. He's looking for Reese Zavin. He hasn't got any space to get past Nadolo, but manages to hand him off. Then brought to ground by Viale. Watson. Cooper Wally inside ball to Deegan. Quickly off to his center. Watson. Witten. Witten's going all the way. And he's cut down quickly. They're doing a good job here. McGrath. Dummies and goes. And that's the second try for the Lions. So Billy Burns from... Just left of the posts, and that one had too much curl on it. So they have the restart. Falls for McGrath, the scorer of the try. And it goes off to Hill, 
the lock, the other Welsh lock. A lot of Welshmen on this team. Josh Adams. Here's Vinopola. Hill to Watson. Back to Marchand. Lewis Rees-Zamet. Back it comes. Burns. He's going to look for the clearance. And this time round, it doesn't go as far as he would have liked. That kick fires itself down to Liam Williams, who decides to run it again. Held the defender long enough, and it's a good run for Lewis Rezamit. He puts the grabber on. There's a four, three lines players there. Vanapol is the man who's going to nab it. Or well, Deegan, actually. And they decide to go wide again to Rezamit. He's doing some good work down on that wing. McGrath. In ball comes to Rezamit, who looks to... Also do a little bomb trick, trying to get into space this time round. It comes to a Montpellier player who just so happened to not be offside, which is unfortunate for the Lions, but they are trying to turn it over, but unable to, and now Montpellier have a good attacking opportunity. They fire the ball downfield, and it's going to be recovered by Liam Williams, who puts the kick on, and that is a much better kick, and Herson rigs it into touch. So the Lions will have the line-out. That was the ball that they needed. It was a much better kick, but the line-out is loose, but it's recovered by Henshaw. Rezamit! Rezamit being denied once again. A shot at the line. McGrath. He's being taken down as well. They go wide to Marchand, and this time round, they have the penalty advantage. Once again, another dangerous tackle. Robbie Henshaw. Tries to kick it, and they have the free play still, the advantage. And now it's over, so luck, lucky break for Montpellier. Could have lost a player there, and unfortunate for the Lions as well. Rezamit, cutting around. He looks like he could make it. He's very close, on the touchline. Vunipola, driving strong. Don't know what Deegan was trying to achieve there, but he's kicked it straight out. On the dead ball line, so... It'll be a 22 meter, and it is. It's recovered brilliantly. Belham off to Hill. Oh, this is good play. Welshman to Welshman as Adams takes it up, but lost a bit of meters there, and they're deciding to go for the set play. Dummy switch pop. Billy Burns is going to line up. Henshaw on the inside, but he goes to Witten, and Witten makes good ground off that. They go over to Polar. Corey Hill recovered by Marchand again. The hooker. Loose ball, but it's recovered by Rezamin. He's had, he's got all the space in the world here. Gives it inside to Richie. He probably should have kept going. Then the pass inside. Rezamin again. Montpellier's defense holding strong. Burns. Hill. He's also looking for the bomb. Who's going to nab it? Watson. Hamish Watson. The Scotsman, but they are unable to win the ball back in the ruck. Montpellier setting off the field now. Big attacking opportunities. And here they keep going. They go to it wide. It's out there. Nadia Briene, the winger for Montpellier. They keep going wide. It's another hacking opportunity for Montpellier. The Lions continue to put pressure on the rack, but are unable to turn it over. Still continue playing. They go wide to Nandolo. He's taken down rather quickly. Montpellier quick over that ball. It's a good ruck. Good, strong ruck from them. Put the kick over the top. It's recovered by Adams, who does a quick turnaround. And the Lions continue their attack. McGrath back inside to Burns. Did a little dummy and then threw the pass the other way. Richie, Hill, inside to Deegan. Luke McGrath to Richie. Every Zamet manages to hand off Nadolo. He's stepping around one, tries to cut inside Herson, but he can't do that. Witten. And Lions are unable to maintain that ruck. Very flat balls being thrown by Montpellier. Lions are able to turn this one over. Witten's going to look for three. And could have gone the distance, but was charged down. And it's going to be recovered by Liam Williams. He couldn't, can't run it this time. So instead he takes the tackle, and it's going to be... Robbie Henshaw, who throws a pass out to his hooker, Marchin. Josh Adams, he manages to hand off one, but can't get through the rest of the defense. 
And that's full time, so McGrath will kick for touch. And it looks like some changes are being made to the Lions at the end of the first half. A change in hooker, in fact. Julian Marchand is going to be coming off for Tadhir. The Portuguese man playing for the Irish. And they're going to keep on the attack. But there's a lot of pressure from... Montpellier and Adams kick goes into touch on the full, so it'll be a line out. Gerardo to feed. She's looking towards what appears to be Picamol, as well as Vunipola, but Vunipola manages to win it back for his team. Henshaw. Witten, who centers linking up. Burns goes wide. Here's Rezamit. Lewis Rezamit, he puts a grubber along the ground. It's done well there, Ian Witten. And then Lewis Rezamit picks up the ball. McGrath manages to recover it. They're still holding on at the ruck. Tad here. Cooper Wally. Back to Watson. They're going to keep going through Vunipola. And now they go to Hill. Keep going. McGrath. Tad here to Adams. And this time round, they do manage to maintain the ruck despite the million, the tons of pressure that are being put on them by Montpellier. But they set them all inside the 22. McGraw's at the back looking to give it, throw a pass. And the mall has still got lots of forward momentum, and now McGraw's going to use it. And he gives it off to Watson. He gives it inside to Vunipola. And he makes a good run. Good inside ball there. McGrath goes himself. And he's fined a small gap. And Luke McGrath is in for the second, his second try. And the Lions third. Billy Burns. Looks to put two more points on the board. And he's done that. So 19 plays. Nothing for the British and Irish Lions. Believe on a polar. Gives it off to Witten on an inside line, and it's a box kick from Luke McGrath, and that's gone in to touch about halfway in down the 10 meter area of the French. And this time round, they go to the front of the line out, but it's still Louis Picamol who's competing. But believe when Apollo again manages to turn it over. Now they have the attack. Witten inside to Watson, who loses it, and Montpellier have the advantage. And uh, another penalty is given away. So Montpellier's penal Montpellier's line out just inside Lions half. And Gerardo again looking to go to the rear of the line out this time. It's going to be a big competing competition at the line out, and it's won by Billy Vanapola again. He just keeps winning these line outs for the Lions against the thrower, so that is very useful skill to have. And Billy Burns is at the back of the line out this time. Still no changes to their attacking lineup right now. Henshaw crashes it up, Billy Burns. Loses it forward, but referee playing on. Josh Adams having to come around to take on Nadabane. And the Lions still unable to turn it over. And Max Deegan penalised for offside. So it'll be another penalty. And some changes needing to be made for the Lions. Jamie Ritchie, the flanker, is... They're going to have a look to see if they can make any changes. But I do not believe they have any lock replacements on the bench at the moment because they are focusing primarily on their back line so they're going to put Eon McCloyne on the field in replace of Jamie Ritchie so the first change is coming on for the Lions so two already one at the end of the first half and one 55 minutes well actually 15 minutes into the second and this time round the lineup goes nowhere, but it manages to be recovered by the Lions. Billy Burns does a bit of crashing up, and he's still going, Billy Burns. 
Well taken. You got Ian McLean. Hamish Watson goes out wide. Lewis Rezamit. He puts the grubber on, but Hurston manages to recover it. And it's taken by Liam Williams, who looks to put a good kick on it. And that is a kick. That is brilliantly done by Liam Williams, the captain. And it's going to be dead. Taken dead by Ndubane. And it's a five-meter scrum for the Lions. And this is the opportunity they needed. The set piece has worked very well. They haven't necessarily scored a try off it, but they certainly have done their work off the back. And it's going to be Billy Vanapola. He's taken out before he can make it to the line. McGrath, Hill. Going to keep going. They're going to keep going through Bielham. And this time round, they, they stopped competing at the ruck, and Montpellier turned it over. But the Lions do not turn it over again. They keep trying, though. And that kick's gone into touch. So it'll be a line-out, and it looks like they're going to go for the whole hog. The seven-man line-out, and the Bulls select. Corey Hill is selected, and it's a good drive early on. And there we go. The set piece has finally brought about a try for Finlay Bealham. And, uh, yeah, the, the line-out has worked pretty well. I mean, they've competed at a lot of them, and they've won a lot of the line-outs. And that scrum earlier was actually very good. So they are definitely doing well in terms of their set piece. Billy Burns might have put too much on that. It could hang to the right, but it's got the curve somehow. And Billy Burns has added two extra points to his team's score. So four points the difference. And that is a good pass from Deegan out to Josh Adams. And he puts a little kick on it. And Deegan again is there to recover. The Irish flanker. Hill. Good take by him. Goes wide to Burns. Off to Witten. Ian Witten doing a good job. Gives it off to Lewis Rezamit. Rezamit. Puts a bomb in the air, no one's there, but that is a loose pass, and it still managed to be recovered by Montpellier. And Pio goes for a little run and is end up touching the ball down his own line. So another 5 meter scrum to the Lions, and there should be no problems with this. Should be no problem scoring a 5 pointer from this. Luke McGrath feeds. The scrum and it's automatically won by the Lions and that is a brilliant try for Billy Vanapola. The set piece bringing them two five pointers in the span of a few minutes and it was quick and easy. Billy Vanapola off the back through the scrum under the posts. Easiest try he will ever have in this Lions jersey. Billy Burns again. Big kick. And two extra points added. So the Lions starting to get into their motion now. Billy Burns puts a very good punt on it. And now their kicks are starting to stick. Very good work done here. But a bit of mistake, miscommunication at the lineup. So, they lo so Montpellier managed to win that lineup, but they give the ball away rather quickly but they have a penalty in the and they will have the scrum but as we know the Lions set piece has been dangerous now as they've scored two tries off the back of it however Montpellier are starting to kind of show their strength of the set piece to the scrum they're winning it back but the Lions putting pressure Montpellier aren't able to get it out in time they're on the 50, so it comes off the back from Vunipola, who gives it back to Adams. Just inside Montpellier's half, Cooper Wally. It was a nice little pass inside there. It's going to be Bielham. And here comes Witten. Off to Rezamit. Rezamit, he's doing a good job of running the ball down that wing but it's recovered by Montpellier and it's not out but William Williams manages to recover it but he's in touch and more changes needing to be made to the front row 
So, Finlay Bielem are coming on for Tomo Tuili and Simon McIntyre. An Englishman and an Irishman coming on to the field. I believe that is correct. I believe when Apola is going to be replaced by Thomas Young, but Jamie Ritchie or Matt Matt Deegan will be moving to number eight. And uh, they're having a bit of uh, indecision here as they do not have a lock replacement on the bench, which is unfortunate. And uh, Gareth Davis is on the bench as well, the experienced player. Hadley Parks coming on as well, so a lot of Welshmen moving on to the bench. Moving from the bench onto the field. And that is a really bad throw from Guillaume Gerardo. It's gone well to the right, and it's recovered by the Lions. Straight back into Lions' hand it goes. And that is a good pass from Billy Burns after Robbie Henshaw. The kick up in the air. It's recovered. And Montpellier have it, but that kick is gone dead. So it'll be yet another scrum on halfway. So once again, it should be easy pickings for the Lions. Thomas Young in the number 20 jersey on the flank now. Matt Deegan in the number 8. And the Lions are going to quickly try and gain as much ground with the scrum before sending Vunipola on his run. Or Matt Deegan on his run. And there is another try off the set piece. Lions 6th or 7th try. 6th try. And uh, Yanni Duplessis is on, for, is on the field now. And Billy Burns adds two points, so the Lions really starting to get into their element now. The set piece is working well. Their kicker is getting points on the board. And their replacements are doing their job, but Kellyanne Gallitter gives away a penalty for a knock-on. So it'll be another scrum, and once again it'll be another opportunity for the Lions to absolutely dominate at the set piece. And the ball is fed by McGrath. And the ball comes out quickly for Deegan, who's doing a good job and gets it off to Adams. Who tries to fend off an tackler, but can only fend off one. Luke McGrath puts a good kick out on the full. More changes looking to be made, and it looks like Gareth Davis will be joining. Or coming onto the field in replace of Luke McGrath, who has done his work tonight. So, Gareth Davis, the other experienced player on the bench, is coming on. And he will join his fellow Lions players. And the ball goes up. It's a long take. It's a long time in the air. And Hadley Parks is doing a good job stepping around. Lewis Rezamit has to try and recover that, but it's taken by Nadolo. Lions are unable to... Oh, never mind, they do manage to turn it over. Lewis Rezamit, he's shut down rather quickly. And Matt Deegan takes it on now. Tool, Young, Parks. And here goes Davis already showing his stuff. McIntyre, Burns, Adams. And... Tool is in there, and he's going to take it on a run, and it's in touch again from the Lions. And they go to the back of the line, and instead it's does Gerardo. Yari Duplessis is in the air, but that is but time is up, and the Lions have the option to kick it out. Gareth Davis does, and that is the end of the first match of the tournament. The Lions win by 40 points to nil. And thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. And go follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube channel, GameBoy13 The Strategist. And I will, because I will be posting the schedule for all of the games, so you know what to expect and uh, you know when they'll be coming out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Game Boy out.